Hi everyone, welcome to AOT Connect. Leading you into the smart world. I'm Anastasia Moore. And I'm Chelsea Cassidy. I don't know if you feel the same as me, but this sudden pandemic has gradually changed everyone's lives. So I appreciate all the people who have contributed to pandemic prevention. Yes, thank you to all the medical and healthcare professionals for all you do. After the outbreak of COVID-19, AI and IoT have substantially helped us in pandemic prevention. Definitely. To reduce close contact in life or the workplace, many companies have started thinking about accelerating the automation of production processes or launching unmanned services. It sounds like we're entering the future earlier than expected. <laughs> The uncertainty of the entire environment after the outbreak, industrial robots have once again become a topic of conversation. I heard that many factories are evaluating the introduction of the robot arm into their production processes, or even combined edge intelligence, data collection, and remote monitoring to realize the blueprint of a smart factory. But to truly realize smart manufacturing, there are many things to learn about when introducing edge intelligence into the robot arm. For example, an embedded system is needed to integrate into the robot arm, which must be thin and light and have a robust design. Mm. Integrating monitoring software is essential to collecting data on the robot arm for operations and remotely monitoring its status. So it is important to have a professional embedded systems manufacturer to provide a software and hardware integration solution. Deep learning will require a powerful system like a high-end CPU and GPU to achieve real-time inference and continuous model training. Also, enough GBE interfaces are needed to provide higher network bandwidth and large capacity storage space for large amounts of data. So Chelsea, do you know which robots are related to pandemic prevention? Uh, yes, uh, disinfection robots are an example. Amusement parks, office buildings, shopping malls, and other places where people frequent will require large-scale disinfection. But I am curious, since this outbreak uh, was so rapid, how were disinfection robots created in such a short time? The disinfection robot is a transport robot developed from AGV, which is a smart mobile platform. In the past, the most common application was the transportation function of logistics and storage. Now in response to the pandemic, AGV can replace interpersonal contact to avoid infection. AGV sounds a bit like a robot vacuum, is that true? <laughs> Let's first explain AGV, which is an automated guided vehicle. It can travel along a set path that has safety protection and various transport functions. In industrial applications, transport vehicles don't even require a driver. Its rot and behavior can be controlled through a computer that requires multiple I.O. interfaces and small embedded systems. The most important thing is that it can resist shock and doesn't require much power. But will the robot always disinfect the same area? How do we know that it cleans every corner of the floor? So as long as the robot starts the work, scans the work area beforehand, it can move freely in the set area without being restricted. Also, it can avoid obstacles and be set up to perform full environment disinfection and sterilization during or after business hours without affecting daily operations. The user only needs to monitor from a remote device. The robot is connected with IoT equipment to autonomously move through the gates and elevators on each floor. It can carry out pandemic prevention work such as cleaning hospital floors with bleach or equipped with UVC sterilization for office buildings and stations. I see. Uh, what is the biggest difficulty in developing this disinfection robot? Designing this AGV applications requires automation and AI machine learning. The edge intelligence computing card in the AGV can be used as an engine to optimize image analysis and inference to achieve real-time intelligence navigation so the robot can learn the best path by analyzing the data captured by cameras and sensors. Also, the edge intelligence computing card is small and low power, so it's one of the best choices for developing smart AGVs. Aside from disinfecting robots, are there any other industrial robot applications? Of course, they are widely used in healthcare. In hospitals, for example, computed tomography of COVID-19 patients uses robots for detection, which can reduce the time spent by 75% and reduce the chance of medical staff getting infected. I think there are now pandemic prevention advocacy robots to promote various pandemic prevention measures, such as AI temperature auto measurement robots and even AIoT forehead thermometers that are said to be under development. 
What is the purpose of these robots? The goal is to install a body temperature scanner with thermography on the industrial robot. The body temperature of a person passing by is instantly displayed and if the body temperature exceeds 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, a notification will be issued immediately. If someone passes by without a mask on, the temperature measuring robot will issue a warning and stop that person from entering. So to reduce the risk of infection, zero contact business opportunities are abundant and even food delivery apps are beginning to launch leave at my door delivery. Can industrial robots be useful in the zero contact business opportunities? Definitely. Fast food restaurants are trying to use robots to cook and serve food. Furthermore, a well-known e-commerce company is using a large number of robots in warehousing to increase efficiency for picking, shipping, and packaging processes, therefore greatly reducing the cost of manpower and the opportunity for contact between people. From what we've talked about today, we have heard about many industrial robots used in pandemic prevention, as well as many technical terms like machine learning and deep learning. In the future, AIoT Connect will explore many more IoT technologies with you. If you like our program, please subscribe to our channel to enable your notifications. If you would like more information, please leave a comment below. Oh, before you go, if our subscribers exceed 1,000, we will draw five lucky winners who will receive, who will each receive one of our beautiful backpacks. Hurry and subscribe for your chance to win one. See, See you next time. time.